Good morning, good morning, everybody. Yeah, I just parked over here at the Walmart. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but uh, I just noticed that my uh, memory card for my uh, dash cam up here, uh, my dash cam wasn't recording, so I just noticed that my memory card seems to be screwed up. So I figured I'll go stop up here at the Walmart and uh, probably gonna go grab me a new memory card so as you can see i'm trying to reformat it and it says windows is unable to complete the format yeah so i can't do anything with that card so that card is uh, i think bottom out <laughs> it's garbage and i like to do uh, i like having a, a dash cam as you can see up there and it's no good without the memory card so i'm gonna go in here and see if i can get me a new memory card and then uh i guess continue on going home well here we are going through fargo north dakota yes sir we managed to pick up my uh, memory card actually i picked up two memory cards figured i'd grab me a spare one just in case one craps out on me that way i have an extra one for my gopro because I need my GoPro to uh, record my shows with, so uh, so I got me an extra card now, so I'm good to go. But the wind has picked up pretty heavily up here. Yep, I'm somewhere around, yeah, probably around 40, 40 kilo, yeah, I was there close to 40 kilometers an hour wind, so that's about 25 miles an hour. I guess it's not super strong, but when it comes from the northwest, then it's really hard for my fuel mileage because I'm going north. I have to pretty much go against the wind. But I figure I give you guys a little bit of a tour here from uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Yep. Other than that, it's a gorgeous day. Almost all the snow is gone over here already. And I'm only like 220 miles from home. Yep. That's gonna be nice. I'm gonna have me a long weekend. Oh yeah, I'm certainly looking forward for that. Nice long weekend. Talked to Trucker Jukebox there earlier. And he said that uh, Trucker Jerry lost his phone. So I don't know. I was gonna give him a call, but if he lost his phone, then I guess I can't be giving him a ring-a-ding, you know? But, anyways, figured I'd say hi to Trucker Jerry and Trucker Jukebox. And if you guys uh, don't know who they are, then you can look them up. Go on uh, YouTube and type in Trucker Jukebox and you'll find his channel. And also Trucker Jerry, he's got his YouTube channel up and running again too, so type that into YouTube as well and look up what to see what he's up to and see what kind of interesting stuff they got going on and all that good stuff you know here we are going through Grand Forks North Dakota I just had me a little bit of a pit stop up here at the uh, Fly and Jay had me a bite to eat and now we're going to floor it going home at 147 miles to go and I will be home yep looks like it's starting to get a little bit cloudy a friend of mine was saying that it was drizzling in uh, Winnipeg so even my wife said this morning it was uh, raining in Steinbach so we'll see what kind of weather we'll have up there but we've been having pretty nice sunshine all week long pretty much so I guess we'll go back to some uh, I don't know if miserable weather but uh, we'll be going through some rain I guess hopefully it won't rain tomorrow I got something planned for tomorrow evening, so and that's going to be outside. I hope that gives you guys an idea of what that means. 
Yep. Oh well. As long as it's not ice rain, I'm okay with that. I think I've had enough ice rain for this year. Matter of fact, I think this is the worst year for ice rain that I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had that bad of an ice rain storms coming through as I have had it this year. This year has been horrible for ice rain, for me at least. Some of you other guys are probably lucky enough to avoid that, but I wasn't that lucky enough to avoid it. Let's see, at least I got three, four times that I got ice rain this year that I can just recall right now. You know, it was one time up there in Quebec, and then last week there in, uh, from Ohio all the way to Toronto. And then that one time where I went uh, from Fargo South, where there was a bunch of trucks and vehicles and all that stuff slid off the road. Yeah. That's been horrible this year, but oh well. We're finally pretty much through it. It's the last little bit of stretch that we got to go through. Maybe another month and we should be good in the clear, you know? At least that's what I hope for. Well, I am at the fast track in Pamina, North Dakota. And I stopped here for uh, one reason. One reason only. Yep. And that reason is... I have to put these things on. Yes. Yep. And you might wonder, why would I need to put them on over here, right? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not going to talk very much about what I'm hauling and stuff like that anymore. But in this case, I am. I am actually hauling batteries. And uh, in the United States, it's not considered a hazmat material. But as soon as I cross the border into Canada, it is considered a hazmat material, so I gotta put these uh, placards on. Yep. So let's go out there and do it. I don't really want to film anything out there because it's crazy windy, windy, windy out there. So the audio is just gonna be this, you know, crackling anyway. So, all right, I'll be back. Well, here we are back in Manitoba on rough highway again. Yep, Manitoba highways aren't very good, but what can I do about it? But just look at all the snow, is almost gone. Yeah, I'm excited. That means summer is coming up. Summer is just around the curve. Yep, definitely. Well, it was easy going across the border today and I just found out that they uh, got a ban on eggs and uh, pork, or not pork, uh, chicken products. So you can't bring any chicken uh, products uh, across the border. Apparently there's some kind of disease going on right now. So if you are traveling uh, from the United States into Canada right now, don't bring any eggs from the U.S. or uh, or ah uh, 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 come on chicken meat products because they got a ban on it. There's a couple of states they said that uh, got some stuff going on, so they banned it. Yep. Oh well. Luckily, I didn't have any chicken or eggs with me. I only have beef meat. So that's all I got. But we got about an hour and 15 minutes and we will be pulling into Steinbach. Yep. Well, guys, I have some extremely good news. We just got a letter in the mailbox here. And it says that we are to... Uh, get a raise yes we will get a three cent a mile raise in most provinces except for ontario we will get a uh, five cent a mile raise so that is awesome i love it 
too bad we don't get a raise for driving in the United States but uh, yeah, the fuel is usually a lot cheaper in the United States anyway so uh, and you don't have a lot of towns and stuff like that to go through and all that stuff so uh, it's much easier for fuel mileage to go in the United States anyways but I am very excited to uh, finally get a raise and uh, I was at the uh, Flying J here this week and uh, they were saying that they got some kind of new fuel card, uh, rewards card, so I went and I picked me up one, so look at that lovely Flying J Pilot card that we got up there now, so uh, but anyways, I am in Stein, well I finished dropping my trailer here finished my paperwork already so my wife is gonna come and pick me up here pretty soon and we got plans to go to my dad's place and do some stuff over there so uh, I probably won't be doing any uh, filming after this anymore so uh, I guess we will cut it here and uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give me the thumbs up anyways uh, we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. thanks for watching